Hi hey guys, welcome back to Linux Mini channel. Today we're looking at a grade four pass paper, specifically a 2022 paper. So this is the last test that was done. Let's go. I'm encouraging you guys to read the questions and try along with me. What is the number name for 45A? Now this is 458. So they normally give you like from words to letters or letters to words. So look out for number one, guys, all right? Anyone must be able to do that. What is the place value of eight in the number 6,840? So same as always say it, right? So 6,840. It's four tens and zero ones, right? So that's basically it. So it's 800. So same as you say number 6,800. That is the answer. And let's move on to number three. Right. Hold on, hold on. I think I have to small it up a bit. Just to, um, so everybody can see everything. Remember here to just try. All right, she says, use information to answer the question below. And I was thinking of a four digit number. The number has five in the ones place, two in the tens place, and eight in the hundred place. Which number could represent the four digit number and I'm thinking of? So first I would suggest you put the four them in one one then you can assess it from there so it says the number five is in the ones place so you know the ones will be here all right two is in the tens place so you know so you put two in the tens place and then eight in the hundred so right here then that's about it so what you do you go to the so which one match up with 825 and that will be B right here, 825. So it could be that. The number 100 and 300 are shown on the number line. What is the best estimate of the number located at X? All right, let's go. What you guys think? This is 50. Why couldn't be 50? Is it 150? 200 or 290? All right, based on this, you can see that it's halfway. Now, halfway between 100 and 300 would be 200. So I'm going to go with 200 for this one. Couldn't be about, it couldn't be 50 because 50 would be about here, right? Because it will reach 100. 150, it's between 150 and 200. But you can kind of say, okay, say if this was 150, then we would 200 go and so on, all right? So that would be 200. Right, let's move on to number five. The diagram represents a pizza with three different toppings. Use it to answer question five and six. And here we have our key. It tells us the type of pizza, cheese, pepperoni, and pineapple. And it says, which fraction of the pizza is pepperoni? Now, this represents pepperoni. So you have to look for this because that represents pepperoni. But before you do that, we need to know how many parts the whole is divided into. All right, so let's count them. And notice a fraction, all the parts must be equal, right? So you have learned that in class. So the total part is the denominator. How many parts the whole is divided into? That would be a denominator, and then now you count how many pepperoni. So here we have one, two, so it will be two over eight. Let's see if we can see that option there. 
Now, the door of 2 over 8, it means they reduce the fraction to this lowest term or equivalent fraction, and that would be a quarter. So, the equivalent of 2 over 8 is the same as 1 over 4, and that's part of them testing the concept for you. Marsha ate half of the pizza. How many slices did she eat? So, first, we're going to see how many Marsha ate. So what we're gonna count and say, all right, one, two, three, four, this is half, right? So it means that Marsha ate these, right? Because this and this is the same, so that's eight. So she ate a total of one, two, three, four slices. So our answer for that would be four. So Marsha add four slices, big up Marsha, big up. Right, let's move on to number seven. I remember that one was related. Which expression best represent the number of triangles below? And here we can count the number of triangles. That would be one of the good way to do it. Once you get things like this, ensure that you know the total and make sure so everything come back to the total. That are to count, right? So you have a total of 12. So which one of these can give you 12? Three fours, 12. All right, let's move on to number eight. Look at the set of notes below. Use it to answer question eight and nine. What is the value of the set of notes? So we have 500 plus 500 again, that's a thousand, plus another 500, that's one five, and that's two thousand. Do over parents that you guys know money, all right? So that's two thousand dollars. Number nine says, Jane changed all the 500 notes to 100 notes only. How many 100 notes does Jane know of? Now, one way you can look at it is that each $500 has how many $100? And that would be five, right? It has five, so every one of them have five. So you can just add five plus five, that's 10. And you add another five, 15, and you get another five, which it works out to 20. All right, it's a very nice question. When 47 over 100 is written in decimal form, which place value will the digit seven represent? So first you have to convert the 47 over 100 to a decimal, right? So all to do that, we're gonna move the decimal place two times to our left, one, Two, so that would be 0 0.47. Now they did ask what is the value of the 70, the digit 7. So this would be 4 tenths, T E N T H S, and this would be 700. But it's two please from the decimal point. All right. Number 11, Ben spends six tenths of his lunch money. What fraction of his lunch money does he have left? So if you get your lunch money and you spend six out of 10, how much you now have out of the old? Now what we can do is write the old as the denominator of this. Right, so that will be 10 over 10, that would represent 1, so that's 1 whole, and you're going to be subtracting 6 over 10. Now, what the rule said, once you have the same denominator, we just subtract the top, so it will be 10 minus 6, which is 4. You didn't reduce it, so that will be 4 out of 10. Yeah, 4. Examine the pattern below, which number is missing? So we have 20, 
go up to 25, then go up to 30, then go up to 35. Clearly, we can see that each time they're adding how many? To get from 20 to 25, how many did they add? They said five, you are correct, right? Each time they add in five, so five plus 35 will give us 40. All right, what about number 13? Calculate eight, two, six plus six, nine, four. So that's eight, two, six plus six, nine, seven. Seven and six, 13, three carry one. Remember we're adding nine and two, 11 and one, 12, two carry one, eight and six, one and five. That gives us 15, so it's 1,523. And guys, you have to can multiply to, you know, let's add. The diagram below shows a chart used by grade four class, a grade four class to keep track of the amount of money they collect, collect from a fundraising activity. Use the diagram to answer item 14. It says, it says, which is the best estimate of money that grade four class has collected so far? So clearly we started at 100, examine the numbers, am I right? Examine the space between them also. So you have two spaces and you get a thousand, right? one space and then a 2,000. So how much they are going up by? That's very important in this case, right? So let's go now, it says, which is the best estimate of the amount of money grade for class has collected so far? So what your job is to do is to estimate right here, how much you think there is so far based on the pattern and based on the graph. What you guys think? All right, so basically we can see that it passed 3,000, correct? Of course, big it up. It obviously passed 3,000, right? So let's see the numbers that were given. All right, 3,300, 3,800. Let's see if it will be 38. Since this, we can see that it's going up by five, right? So this will be 35 and this is the 4,000. So what we can see is 3,300 because it don't reach 35 yet. There's no other option. All right, so we're halfway there, guys, halfway there. How many parts in the diagram two must be shaded in order to make the statement true? So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six shaded. Here we have two. So two plus what? give us six, all right? Or you could actually shade the others, right? Say so of this, so this shaded, this one was shaded already, so this shaded, this shaded, and this shaded, right? To make it true, because these are shaded from over here, so that is four. It's a very nice question. All right, which unit is more suitable to use when measuring the length of a room? I'm going to go with meters, all right? Millimeters is too small. Centimeter is bigger than millimeter, but it's still small, right? It can be kilometer, but that's like crazy, crazy. All right, number 17 says, which container... has the most amount of liquid. So we definitely, we definitely have to check out all of them in order to see, all right, and see how much it each. So we have four containers. Don't look at the size of the container. Look at how far the reading is, all right, guys? So here we have 100, one, two. So this is basically 110. So go ahead, measure up all of the measurements, and then you can decide. Here we have 160. And you're gonna look for the one with the highest number. 
This now, 120. So you have to look at the reading, all right? All of them is the same unit, so that's not alpha. And then this one now, one space between two of them, so that will be 150. So the one with the highest number would be our. So that would be B 160, because that number is greater than all the numbers there. If I share this with the teacher right now. All your mommy and daddy, if you want to join my class, all right? I'm going. The temperature of a bowl of soup is 35 degrees. 30 minutes later, it was 10 degrees. This should be degrees. What to the degrees cooler. What was the temperature in the soup? So we are at 35. If it's getting cooler, it means the temperature is getting less, right? Less number we are, the colder it gets. So it will just subtract the 10, and that will give us our answer, which is 25 degrees. So that will be C, D. The diagram below shows a model of four gardens. Each square represents one meter square. Use it to answer on time item 19. Let's go, let's go. Halfway, pass halfway now, guys, let's go. So let's see what the question asks us. It says, which garden has the largest area? Now, two ways we can do it. We can count the sides, um, which would give us the length. So all we have to do is just count them. and multiply them. So this, have, this will be six by two. So the area would be 12. Or you can do like at, um, some of my students do. We count them literally, right? You could say one, two, because here is rising number of square units is what we take to cover the surface. This is 12. This is also 12. And this one, now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And of course, I could have done three by six, right? Still give it 18. So that's 18 meters square. And then I do it for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Once you reach 18, you know, set us to be this because there are more, right? So that one is of the largest area. And that's garden B, as in bat. Number 19, completed. Number 20 now. He says four items are shown below. Use them to answer question 20. So you have your school bag, your dictionary, your water bottle, and your lunch box. And it says a shelf can hold no more than one 10, kilom 10 kilograms. Which two items, if placed on the shelf at the same time, may cause the shelf to break? So first, they give us the lunch box and the dictionary. So we have a lunch box and a dictionary. If you add these two, it would be two plus 2.5. That does not reach, so that don't work. We can eliminate that. Let's try again the school bag and the lunch box. So the school bag weighs 7.5 kilograms. 
and the lunch box weighed 2.5. So that gives us exactly 10. And the final one, no, find two left, school bag and water bottle, which is 7.5 kilogram. And the water bottle, which is 3.5. And if we add seven and three, we get 11. So that would be C. Too much weight, all right? Let's look at, let's look at 12, 21. The perimeter of a computer screen is 20 meters. The length of one side of the computer screen is four meters. What is the width of the other side? So it's basically a rectangle. So if one side is four, opposite side will also be four. And I write 14, right? So if you add four and four, that's eight, and we need to get to 20. So what plus 20 is equal to, what plus eight is equal to 20? Which number you add? Now it will be 12, right? However, this 12 should be split for this side and this side, right? Because the opposite sides are equal. So since they are equal, we divide by two and that will give us six. So our length for this other side would be six meters. All right, a diagram. Below shows a section of a grill. Use it to answer. Use the diagram to answer question 22. Which word correctly completes the statement below? And it says rod one and row three, which is this, represent. And they are going in the same direction. So they are, and they will never meet. So they are parallel lines. All right. Parallel lines, they never meet. Perpendicular means they meet at right angle. So if you form a right angle or an elliptical angle like this, they are said to be perpendicular. All right. All right, let's move on to 23. Which, di which diagram can be folded once to result in two halves that look exactly the same. If you do that with your hand, would that be that? Would that like a switch something here with a snail? Or the plane everybody wanted. And that would be the plane. And this is the line of symmetry. So that would be D. I want my line or so, symmetry or so, 100, but you know it already. It should fold on this, the two wings would come together, this part would come together, this part would also come together. All right, 24. What type of angle is formed by the bent arm below? No angle is formed, a right angle, more than a right angle, or less than a right angle. Well, we know that a right angle is like this, right? So what we could do is draw a line here to kind of give us an idea, right? So see here, in order for it to be a right angle, the angle will have to be straight. So we can clearly see that it's an acute, it's less than 90. So that would be D. Right, let's move on. Um, a student used matchstick to form the shape below. We'll use it to answer a question. Which shape does the formed by the match stick. Is it a hexagon, a square, or a rectangle, or a kite? And that would be a rectangle, right? Two long sides and two short sides. That's what they used to say at, at primary school, or basic school. Uh, by the way, my grandmother was an early childhood teacher. Uh, there are so many teachers in my family. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Which item can represent a cube? Is it a globe, a party at a toy box, or a die? Now, Jamaica have a tendency to call die dice, but actually a dice is more than one, all right? More than one of these. So now we have one, 
this is actually be our answer. It has six sides that are made up of squares, all right? While this node would be a cuboid. So you must be able to differentiate between them, all right? All right let's move on to 27. A bar graph below shows the height of students. Use the graph to answer question 27 and 28. And we have Andrew, Barry, Charlie, Dana, Eve, Fiona. Big of yourself, Fiona. St. Mary's College, yeah. Girl, let's support me. Yeah, students' name and their height over here. And here's the title, height of students. And my class would have done bar graph like this. Um, all of that, and they'd have done it from scratch. So, expecting everyone to just run through this. All right, how tall is Charlie? So, first we find Charlie, and then we go across, and that matches with a hundred. So, Charlie is a hundred centimeter. So, that would be a hundred. That's A, guys. All right, let's move on to 28. Students have students have to be more than 140 centimeter tall to be allowed on a water, a water slide. Which two students would be allowed on the water slide? So we have Andrew, Charlie, Barry. We could go back up to the chart because they say both of them related. All right. So um 140. So this is the bar. Now Eve, she eat the apple. We couldn't use E because she's exactly, she said more than. So we have to use Fiona and Donna since they pass the 140. All right, so you could use the water slide. I guess they're not going to drown. And guys, be careful um, for this summer, all right? So it's Donna and Fiona. All right, some crayons were placed on a box. 16 crayons were added to what was placed in the box, making a total of 48. Use this information to answer question 29 and 30. All right, so 29 says expression represent. Some crayons are placed in a box. 16 crayons were added to the box. What was placed in the box? Now that would be you had. A number we don't know what the number is, but they said that we added 16. So we are we do we add 16. So that would be n plus 16. Guys, I'm putting my name and number because I know people want the child to um be a part of my class. So you still can, all right. Um for grade five and grade six. Assuming that um, I still have space. Space is going fast, guys, all right? So I'm Lennox Bennett, 5492161. Link me up and then um, you can get your child started, all right? Classes are via Zoom on the weekends. All right, how many crayons were in the box before 16 crayons were included? So let's go back up and read the statement. It says, which expression represents them? All right, this one says some crayons are placed in the box. 16 crayons are added to what was placed in the box, making a total of 48. Use this information to answer 29 and 30. So we don't know what it was, but we know, I'm gonna just call it N since as they started off with N. So we know that it was N plus 16 and that equal to 48. So ask yourself, what plus 16 give you 48? Which number you can add to 16 to give you 48? Think about that, guys. All right? And let me know. All right, so how we have to do is a subtract 16 from 48, and that is 6 from 8 leave 2, 1 from 4 leave so that is 32. Or you can double check it. So it's 32 plus 16. Does that give you 48? 6 and 2, 8, 1 and that 4. So that is 48. So you know, so here, it would have been 32. All right, see the number there for call? 
And guys, there is summer class. And if you're watching this before exam, there will be marathons and regular classes. All right. This is Alex Benitam out. No doubt. See you guys in another video. Big up everybody. All right. I'm friend in England.